Hey, fellow Star Wars fans, it's Archer Remark here, back with another Star Wars review. And I have another LEGO set for you for today. And it's one of the newer 2013 LEGO sets. I managed to pick this up fairly recently at my local Kmart. And this cost $19.99. And it's a pretty good price for uh, the set you're getting. You got some cool stuff in here. Uh, this is set number 75002, the ATRT. And it's a great little set. Vehicles, minifigs, usual Lego awesomeness. So we'll show you show you the box first. The packaging. Very cool. Uh so you get you see, like I said, 75002. It's the ATRT done in the 501st color scheme. And we have Lego, Star Wars, and then you see the, the Yoda. Packaging the Yoda image that was created here for 2013. Just kind of like leaping off the box. Uh, of course, this image was originally part to promote the 3D release of Attack of the Clones. And then there's a Darth Vader image that was, I guess, would have been used later on for uh, Revenge of the Sith being released in 3D. But that's been postponed for now. So Lucasfilm and Disney can focus on Episode 7, which is... Which I think is probably a good choice there. But we'll, we'll see that in 3D eventually. Anyway, so great piece. Here you see the sort of fantasy situation uh, that the, the set is featured in. With little laser blasts and explosions. and There you see everything that comes in the set. Uh, the top here. So we have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. Which is new according to the box. Uh, the Commando Droid Captain. Which is new and the lego yoda which uh it's not a new figure it's been used in other sets before but it's yoda man gotta have a lego yoda man come on freaking yoda it's a green guy anyway i'm just going a little crazy there for a second that's right so that's the front of the box uh the back of the box shows a little more detail on some of the features, you know, the swiveling laser cannon and little storage compartment you can put the uh, the blaster in. And, and again, more of the sort of fantasy poses and whatnot, laser blasts and things like that. Uh, the, the legs are movable uh, to put them in sort of a walking, more of a walking pose. And, you know, just other views of the vehicle itself. Cool stuff, Bono. That's about nothing too interesting. That's basically the box. And of course, what Lego set wouldn't be complete without one of these? Gotta have the instruction booklet. And you know, a neat little booklet. There's, you know, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just right. Anyway, but you know, you know how these work by now. Step by step, they take you through building the building process. They make it fairly easy for you. I won't show you everything. I'll uh, we'll skip to the back and here you see uh, some of the other Lego sets that are available. Um, there's some interesting sets. Uh, this is the set we're doing here. Uh, my previous review, not too long ago, was this one: the the Sith Troopers and the Republic Troopers. Uh, I still think I might like to get this A-Wing. I'm not sure. Uh, these other two sets are just just too big. Uh, the, I saw a review on the, the Jabba's Dungeon. It just looks really cool. Uh, especially if you had the Jabba's Palace as well. But it's just too big of a set for me. I just don't have the room. Uh, but there you go. And then this page here shows all the various uh, Lego figs that we have in this year's are coming in this year's uh, Lego set. So there's the booklet. Very cool. Now let's get on to the good stuff. The reason we come here for, for this set. Uh, so very cool stuff. We're going to start with, and we'll start with this guy here. This is the Commando Droid. The Commando Droid Captain, according to the box. Pretty neat, you know, basic brown, little touches of blue on the head. And he's got the little Lego blaster. Nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, it, it's neat. I, now, I have a couple Commando Droids in another set. So, 
But it's neat to have another one, you know, build up your little Lego armies. The other three are things that I don't have at all as far as Lego. Uh, we have here this Destroyer Droid, which is a, a neat little build. It's a fun build. It's interesting because I've seen uh, other Destroyer Droids or other attempts at making a Lego Destroyer Droid in other sets. And they just, they don't look good at all. They don't look like a Destroyer Droid. Just, this, I think they really did a great job of designing and putting together the pieces to really make it resemble a Destroyer Droid. It's, it, that's what's one of the, part of the fun of uh, putting this piece together is as you're putting it together, the more and more it looks like the Destroyer Droid. It looks neat. The little legs and the, the laser cannon. And no flick missile or anything like that. Just It just just looks awesome. That's it. Awesome and badass. Very cool. Wouldn't it be neat if they'd done some little piece that you could put over it to make it look like, like it has the shield in front of it, like you see on the box? That would have been really cool. But this is... I'm happy with this. It's really well built, well designed. Uh, the other two, the main minifigs, uh, we have the 501st Clone Trooper, which this is the first... 501st Clone Trooper that I've gotten in Lego version. So I don't have this at all. So that's good. Good to buy sets that you don't have. Uh, I was gonna, I'll, show you, I'll show you his face in a second. You know, pretty, really cool. You got the back and front uh, printing on the clone armor. And again, the, the helmet looks really cool. And the, just the blue and white paint scheme just... I think that's one of the reasons the 501st is so popular. It's just the the paint scheme just looks just works so well. Blue and white just really uh, complement each other really well. Again, you can see the helmet just just looks really cool. Okay, uh, I'll take off the helmet real quick and show you. Get this to focus in. There you go. And you have your Lego clone trooper face. You know, nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, there's no no double printing on the back, just the one side. So that's cool. So we'll get that. And let's see, we get the helmet back on this guy. There we go. He's ready for action again. And this is, again, one of my main reasons for picking this up is Yoda. Uh, I don't have a Lego Yoda yet. And now I do. So. I just love this little guy. How can how can you not like Yoda? Freaking Yoda, man. Guys kick ass. Uh, again, nice printing backwards and on the front. Uh, you know, it's pretty basic with the Jedi robes. You know, just brown and beige. But and but his head, the the Lego head. I love how they did it. it just looks really cool. Just the way they sculpted his his forehead here and. And then his hair on the back. I love the way that looks. Just something about it just looks neat. It's interesting that the the head was in a separate bag all by itself. It's just it's just that special of a Lego piece, I guess. Uh, anyway, and then of course you got your trademark green Yoda lightsaber. So very cool. So it's nice to when you buy some of these sets to sometimes you'll get some of the same figures and in this case it's figures and things that I don't have before, which is very cool. Uh, now the main part of the set is the ATRT itself. Again, in the 501st blue uh, paint scheme, color scheme, and just looks really cool. You know, if you're familiar with uh, the Hasbro lines and the Clone Wars lines that we've seen over the past couple of years, you see that you know there have been many ATRTs over the over the years different color schemes and paint schemes and whatnot. Um, so there you have it. You know, you, you know, we've seen it many times before. And here we have it in, you know, Lego version. And it just always works. You know, we again, we've seen these with the Hasbro sets, like I said, with the ARF troopers. And those figures are just really great figures. Those get reworked and repainted over and over, but they're great figures. So it's like, you don't mind, and this just looks just as cool uh, as as the Haswell versions. So it's it's neat to have 
one in Lego version now. Uh, I'll go over now the legs. You do have articulation in the legs. They can be moved and positioned as well as the feet. But if you want it to stand, you got to pretty much leave it like that or else it won't stand. Of course, it won't stand for me. You just kind of put it there and it'll stand. Uh, but if you move the legs around, you're going to have to hold it with your hand because you're not going to get it to stand uh, in any other position. But you could still kind of play around with it, prop it up against something. So you got that maneuverability. Uh, you have the laser cannon here, which can move side to side. Uh, four little stickers, one there and there, and they go on fairly easy. And then you have the little 501st on either side. Okay. You got the antenna. Of course, you got the little control control stick there. And, you know, you put your little clone trooper there. And it's just a really cool uh, walker. And, set. and, again, it just... They're cool little vehicles. They're just... No matter how many times they've been done before, they just... They're really nice looking. And I really like the way this came out. So... Yeah, so very cool. Um, so, yeah. That's it. The uh, Lego Star Wars ATRT set. You got the Destroyer Droid, Commando Droid. You have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. And, of course, you have the Yoda. So, cool minifigs uh, and other Lego accessories. The very cool uh, ATRT again with the, the 501st paint scheme. I'm just, get, just gonna have him sit down there. You stay. Uh, I get I I don't know what it is. I get a little goofy with these Lego reviews for some reason. But anyway, so there it is. There's your set ATRT. Uh, definitely worth picking up. It's it's a it's a very cool, if you like clones, if you like the 501st, it's a very cool set to pick up. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, around $20. Uh, maybe you'll find it on sale somewhere, but uh, it's, it's a good price. It's it's worth the money. All kinds of little features and, you know, definitely worth it. Definitely would recommend it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if so, you know, you got the usual rigmarole there comment rate subscribe do as you please you know if, if you want to it's really appreciated when you guys do always helps me out uh but yeah there you go one more review in the can there and there it is so until my next video i will simply say i'll sign off and say may the force be with you